Now to this story. It's about a retired teacher from Pinellas County hoping to check off one major item from her bucket list, and that's hiking through the Appalachian Trail. After an injury set her back earlier this year, well, she's going back out to finish what she started. 10 Tampa Bay's Jenny Dean joins us live this morning outside Bill Jackson's in Pinellas Park with that story. Good morning, Jenny. Good morning. You know, this is the place to come if you want to get geared up for an outdoor adventure. And Bill Jackson's is where Pamela Clark came when she decided she was ready to check that item off her bucket list and hike the entire Appalachian Trail. I'm Pamela Clark, um, birthday girl on the trail. Um, uh, I've done 1,300 miles on, on the Appalachian Trail, and I hope to finish the um, 800 in January, February, and March. And if she does that at 76 years old, Pamela will be the oldest female to hike the nearly 2,200-mile trail within a year. If there's one thing I know about Pam, this lady has it in her to make it because she has no fear, none. Kathy and Perupski and Brant Bowers were both working at Bill Jackson's the day after Thanksgiving in 2021 when Pam walked in to get geared up. It is big. It's, you know, it, it's an epic journey to, to go all 2,000 plus miles on that. They told me everything I needed to get, how to do it, and um, got me involved in a hiking group so that I could practice on the equipment that I got because I had, I had never backpacked or overnighted. She started on March 30th, her birthday, which led to her obvious trail name, Birthday Girl. And if you were expecting Pam to describe how magical the trail is, well, think again. The trail is sort of like a marriage. You get into it, you think it's the fairy tale, and all of it's not the fairy tale. And then you just go ahead and do it. But after hiking 1,300 miles over six months, an injury brought her home. Once I start something, I want to finish it. And that it was really hard to get off the trail with my arm because I, I didn't want to stop. So now that she's healed up, she's going back. I asked Pam if she's afraid she won't finish. No, it's going to get done. <laughs> <laughs> I just love her laugh at the end of that story, guys. Isn't it great? It's going to get done. <laughs> um, she has 800 miles to finish. Uh, it, you know, everything she owns in a pack, just like this one, or everything that she'll have with her. And uh, she has to go in cold weather, though, now, because she's going back to the trail in a couple of days. She has to go from Harpers Ferry, Virginia, all the way up to Maine. And she has to do it by the end of March if she wants to get that through hike within one year. So it's pretty significant. That is awesome. I love that she wants to do it and that she's making it happen. She's like, it's going to happen. Nothing's going to stop me. We, I, I am going to finish I it. I love that determination, yeah. right? It's contagious. Yeah. I mean, it's definitely motivating for anybody else, you know? Hey, guys, and also, if you want to follow her journey, I'm going to have some links posted on our website so we can follow along with her and encourage her along her journey on social media. So um, I'm going to put that uh, story up pretty soon. So make sure you come back to 10tampabay.com and look for her story because we're going to keep updating you on Pam. She's, she's a pretty awesome woman. Oh, yeah. We need the sequel. Thank you for that, Jenny.